What's up, Johnson family? My name is Cedric, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys a story about the time that I thought my Lyft driver was going to kidnap me. <laughs> this story gets me mad. Like, I'm gonna try not to get mad. I'm gonna try to just make it, like, to keep it, like, lighthearted and fun and stuff, but I genuinely was just so annoyed. Like, I never complain about people. Like, I never call establishments to be like, hey, your employee made me so mad, or like, hey, your driver on the road sucked, or like, whatever. But literally, I had, I called Lyft because I was so freaking upset. This ride was ridiculous. And I will also have merch coming out very, very soon, so please be on the lookout for that. That should be out in the next couple of weeks or something. Okay, so I, I can't tell you the story without telling you what happened right before I got into my Lyft. So, Literally, okay, so I um, I signed up for this like research study at this local clinic and they wanted to test people who were like negative for different like STIs and STDs and stuff just to like, to find out some type of, they were doing some type of study and I, they had to do something very specific that was really, really uncomfortable and, and it caused me to like be kind of walking funny after I left the clinic and so that's just like a... I'll, at some point, I'll tell the story of what happened there because it was there were so many things that happened during that visit that I was just like, where am I? Just know that before I got in my lift, I left the clinic and I was walking funny and I felt really weird and I was just really uncomfortable and I was already kind of stressed, okay? So, okay, I leave the clinic, okay? <clears throat> I call my best friend. I tell him what happened and how I feel really weird and how I just, I'm just like lightweight in pain kind of sort of. This is what just happened to me at the clinic. Like, it was crazy. He was like, yo, that's insane. Like, what the heck? And so I'm talking to him. We're FaceTime whatever and I hear Cedric <laughs> I was like <laughs> like I was like who called my name like I originally thought the clinic was like calling me back or something but I looked up and it was the Lyft driver he was like is your name Cedric I was like yeah that's me all right cool just wanted to make sure hop in hop in let's go I'm like oh my god best friend I have to go but I love you I'll talk to you later and so I get in the car and he's just like hey what's up what's up and I'm like hi um I don't remember his name he's the Lyft driver so I get in the Lyft he's like do you know where we're going I was like oh yeah we're going to Walmart he was taking me from the clinic to Walmart because I had to go grocery shopping and then back to my apartment and so I'm looking out the window I'm like thinking about the whole experience that I just had at the clinic how crazy that was and how I feel really weird and we're driving for maybe maybe three to five minutes or so I won't be I won't exaggerate it it was like three to five minutes um, that we're driving and he goes, oh my gosh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, bro, I gotta turn the car around. I'm like, okay, all right. This has happened to me before where a Lyft driver is going the wrong way <laughs> and then has to turn around. Mind you, you get paid or you have to pay for like some type of formula of like the distance it takes and the time it takes to get you to wherever you need to go. And so I know that if you make extra turns or you go the wrong way, you're gonna be, whether it's a couple of cents or not, was my couple of cents, you're making me pay more money. So I was just like, Cedric, just chill. Like, yo, you're good. Don't let this get to you. Like, you're fine. Enjoy the rest of your day. You do you as, as long as you're going the right way now, like we're good. So we're driving, you guys, when I tell you that we were driving for maybe like one and a half minutes to two minutes before he goes, oh, I'm out of gas, bro. We gotta stop real quick. I'm like, okay. So you're going the wrong way. When you're a Lyft driver, when you are a Lyft driver, that is your job, that is your profession, that is your career. You are a Lyft, you drive, you are a ride-sharing driver. Like, you drive for Lyft. Why would you get in your car knowing that you were on E and then start a ride? I don't understand that mentality, I don't get it. Maybe you just didn't know or you were paying attention, but I feel like before I go to work, I make sure that I have my clothes, you know? Before I go to work, I make sure that I, I smell good, that I look good, that I'm not just like jumping into it. I was just like, I don't understand how you like, you literally drive, that's what you do. Gas is a very, very big important part of driving anywhere. And so before you start your job for Lyft, you don't get gas. Or when you're halfway, you don't get gas. You wait until you're on E and you are on a ride to get gas. I was, I am normally not like this. I'm not a mad, I'm not a, a mad person. I don't get mad about things too often. It's just when, when things happen that don't make sense to me and I'm already stressed, it just, it's hard for me to like contain it and just, just do whatever. But I still manage to maintain my, my composure and be cool or whatever. We get to a gas station. <clears throat> Mind you, the gas station is like, it's not towards Walmart. It's like out of the way. So we have to, again, go off, like make a detour to go to a gas station so you can get gas so we can not like run out of gas while we're driving. He pulls up, he turns around, he's just like, all right, bro, it's gonna be like, like two or three minutes, I promise. We'll be out of here and I'll get you right to where you gotta go. Like, just, just give me a second. I said, okay, cool. Sounds good. Do what you gotta do. He gets out of the car. Goes to the machine, He's, I see him punching in the machine, and then I, I'm looking at the machine, you guys, literally, <laughs> I was just, my anger was just getting so, like, I'm looking at the machine that he's playing with, the machine with a sign on it that says, Machine's not working. 
This machine is, doesn't work. You have to go inside. Like, you, the machine literally had a sign. When I'm sitting in the car, I'm looking to my right at the machine. He has to go the same way. So you didn't see that big sign that said this is not working? I wanted so bad to open the door and be like, It's broken! Like, oh, But I was like, whatever, he'll notice at some point. So he notices, he goes, oh, he's like, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, sure. So then he goes inside, he has to pay with cash, so he's waiting in line. He gets to the register, pays the cash, whatever. He comes out, bruh. Oh, his name was Derek. That was his name. I don't feel like it'll be that bad because there's a lot of Derek's. So I'll just call him by his name. His name's Derek. So he comes out and then I hear, Oh my God, is that you, Derek? Oh, Carlotta. Oh my gosh, Carlotta. I haven't seen you in forever, girl. How you doing? How you doing? I was like, you guys, I was boiling. I was boiling in the back seat. Like you got, you could have been making freaking devil's eggs inside of me. I was boiling, you guys. I was so frustrated. Like, what? And so they talk literally no lie for like five minutes. I'm sitting there looking at my phone like, it's not that I have to be to Walmart at a specific time, but when I called my Lyft, it told me it would cost this much, and this is how long it would take me to get there, and this is what time I would arrive. When we started the Lyft ride, it also told me that as well. So, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I just don't, you know? And so they talk for, for five minutes or whatever. He's like, all right, cool. Well, I got somebody in the back seat, and I got to get him to where he needs to go. So, I'll see you later, Carla. Oh, bye, Derek. I'll see you later. So he comes over, he pumps the gas, puts the thing back in the little thing, and then gets in the car, and he's just like, all right, bruh, no more, no more stops, no more interceptions. Like, I promise we're gonna get there. We, I got you, I got you. We're gonna get there right now. I'm gonna get you to where you gotta go. I said, okay, cool, thank you. I appreciate your efficiency. So then we start driving, you guys. As soon as we hit the first stop sign, he gets a call from somebody. And then all of a sudden it's, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How's it going, how's it going? How you doing, blah, blah, I'm like, okay, all right, we're good, we're good. Maybe he'll just tell him that he's driving and he has to go, like, we're fine, we're good. You think he did that? He's talking to this person like, I got somebody in the back seat right now, but I, I promise you, like, he cool, he cool people. Like, he gonna give me five stars, he gonna give me five stars, like, he cool, he cool, we good. So what's up, what's up, how's, how you living, how's your day? Like, I'm in the back seat like, he cool? Who are you talking about? Because I'm the one back here, and I'm definitely, you're getting three stars tops, if that, homeboy. Like, I was so irritated. Like, what? Mind you, this is where I started to feel like I was getting kidnapped. Because at this point, I don't take lifts a crazy, like, I don't take lifts, like, I take lifts when I need to get somewhere, and since I've been out here, I haven't really had to take lifts because I haven't really gone nowhere. So, I didn't know that, like, while you're driving, you can, like, look at your phone and see, like, where you know you're driving to or like where the driver is going or whatever because typically when i'm in the car in the lift driver's car i'm not looking at my phone i'm looking I'm, my phone's either playing music or like playing like my podcast or whatever or i'm looking at the driver's dashboard at their phone which shows where we're going how much long we have left and you know what time we'll get there or whatever Typically, Lyft drivers do that. Typically, Lyft drivers, they use their phone for navigation, and the, the, you know, the navigation person is like, turn left on, you know, quit that drive, and blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm waiting for, that's what I'm expecting. But since he's on his phone, since the Lyft driver is on his phone while he's driving, I can't see where I'm going. And I have no idea that I can see where I'm going on here. I also have no idea that you know where you're going because I just said Walmart. I didn't say which Walmart. I didn't see you look at which Walmart. I didn't see you say, oh, the Walmart on this street. Oh, the one behind Missy Pennies. Oh, the one behind Payless. I didn't, you, I didn't see any type of like, making sure that he knew my destination. All I saw was him going the wrong way, him making a detour to get some gas, him talking to Carlotta, and then him talking to whoever's on the phone with him right now. So I'm freaking out in the back seat. Like, I'm like, this dude, how does he know where he's going? How do I know where I'm going? How, like, what, what? I was so, I was, you guys, I was so scared. I'm freaking out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's happening, but I don't want to be like, excuse me, sir. Can you like, Get off the phone, please, because I don't know where I'm going. And so I'm sitting in the back seat. I'm an anti-confrontational person. I, I don't like to like start stuff with people. I just like to just do me and just do my thing and whatever. And mind you, the way that he drives, I'm not sure if it's because he, he's on the phone, but he doesn't use blinkers. And so when he would go into the next lane and cut somebody off or get right behind somebody, he's yelling at them because they should have known that he was turning. <laughs> like, what?
if I'm driving, the blinker is so that you know that I'm coming over here, okay? Or I'm coming over here, okay? So if I'm coming over here and I have no way of telling you that, how is it their fault they didn't know you were coming over there? While he's talking to this person and cussing out these people, he's saying stuff like, oh yeah, that hoe tried to message me on Instagram and I told her that blah, 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 and blah, 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 like, oh, she does this, this, and that, this be this, this hoe that, like, you guys, like. <laughs> and so then we finally get to like two stoplights before we get to to Walmart. I'm like, okay, I can see Walmart. I didn't even know if he knew where he was going, but I, now I can see Walmart. I can like stop freaking out or whatever. He gets off the phone. He's just like, all right, well, I mean, I'm done talking. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. I gotta tell this dude in the back, like I gotta tell him bye or whatever. So I'll talk to you later. All right, cool, peace. I'm like, okay, all right, whatever. At least the ride is over. He gets off the phone. As soon as he gets off the phone, he gets on Instagram and he's talking to someone on Instagram. It's a stoplight, so sure, whatever. But he's on Instagram doing this or whatever and he's just like texting, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, all right. And this is not the first time that a Lyft driver in Georgia has been on their phone for the majority of the ride. And it terrifies me because when I moved out here, before I moved out here, I heard that this the, the freeways in Atlanta are crazy. Like the traffic is insane. There's always an accident on some freeway. Like just driving on these freeways terrifies me. And so being behind, like in the back seat of someone else, my life is in their hands on these freeways. It, it just added to that, like, to the stress. I'm looking at him talking to whoever, some hoe on Instagram. <laughs> Literally, he's typing whatever, he's talking to some girl. He presses send, looks up, and just starts going. He doesn't look to see if the light is actually green. He doesn't look to see if there's anybody else coming. He just starts going. Mind you, he starts going as soon as this way. So, we're this way. <laughs> the stoplight that is this way. <laughs> That was as soon as he went, it was time for them to go. So he looks up, presses the gas, and is like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> My heart has not beat this fast in a very, very long time. And I mean, he caught it before we were like, you know, slammed into. But just knowing that like we could have been hit, <laughs> we could have been literally like smashed. Like we could have. We finally get into the Walmart parking lot. He's, mind you, he's still on Instagram. The, him crashing didn't make him like get off Instagram. <laughs> like, like what, what? <laughs> so we finally get to the, to the Walmart parking lot. He's like, do you want me to drop you off in the front or like it's right here, cool. I was like, I mean, Walmart is like over there. So I would appreciate it if you could drop me off like in front of it. <laughs> he's like, all right, cool, bet. So we get there, we stop in the front. I'm like, okay, cool, well, thank you. I appreciate it. He's like, all right, bye. <laughs> I was like, okay, bye. Ugh. It's so crazy because I had such a bad day that day. First the clinic and then literally Walmart. I went to the bank after and they were both really crappy experiences. But I, we're gonna stop the story here because I, I need to go cool off. I need some water or something. I need to, I need to go chill. But that is, I literally, literally like walked into Walmart and was like, no, I'm not letting this slide. I'm about to call Lyft. And I'm about to let them know what happened because I will not be paired with this person again. Like, I refuse. Like, girl, bye. <laughs> and that's the story of the time that I thought that my Lyft driver was going to kidnap me and take me somewhere that was going to not be somewhere that I wanted to go. So, <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you want to see more of me, please do not hesitate to subscribe. Please like if you liked it and please comment and let me know what you thought. I guess I will see you guys in the next one.